Hey, g'day folks, how you going? It's the 2020 Australia Day long weekend and uh, we thought we'd go away for a few days because I ended up getting the weekend off. So we thought we'd go to Denmark. That's Denmark the town, not the country. Bloody amazing. Denmark is a little town on the south coast of WA, about 420 kilometres from Perth, down near Albany. When most people head that way, they would probably go down the Albany Highway, or they could go slightly longer and go past Bunbury and through Manjimup. But on this trip, I've decided to go even different. We're going to head east first, towards York and get on the Great Southern Highway before we turn to Beverley and head south through Brookton, Narragin and a few other smaller towns. Being that it's not the most direct way, I'm expecting it to be a pretty quiet drive, with not much traffic around. And by the time I get to Denmark, it's really only going to be about an extra 60 kilometres than what I would have had to have done if I had have gone down Albany Highway. Last year we started doing what we call Bakery Day. Every month we travel to a country bakery to try out what they have. So why not stop in a bakery in Beverly? And I've got to say my cheese and bacon pie was surprisingly good. Beverly is a small town about an hour and a half southeast of Perth. It's been around since the 1860s and still has many of the early 1900s buildings in town. After a nice lunch, we continued travelling south, down the western side of the WA Wheat Belt area. When you get to Pingerley, hang a right and go for about another 20 kilometres out of town. A few days before this trip, I stumbled across a little free camping area that we're going to check out. It's called Pumphrey's Bridge. I don't exactly know who Pumphrey was, but uh, up the road from here is his historical homestead and according to the sign here at the campsite, this is a popular camping area for him and a few of his mates. Our first night stop is in a uh, little free camp, it's called uh, Pumphrey's Bridge. There's not much left of it now, there's a big section in the middle which is broken. But uh, a bit of it surprising to find uh, that there is water in here at this time of the year. Uh, we're in January now, so uh, uh, kind of the middle of summer, but still a fair bit of water here. Um, I did read that apparently you can fish here. I've got no idea what kind of fish you would find, but uh, the water's fairly still. Although I can see little bits of bubbles and fish and that floating around, so uh, I was going to say it might be full of mosquitoes at night time, but uh, the fish might keep them under control. So, uh, yeah, not a bad little spot. We'll have a look around. This campsite's on the banks of the Hotham River, about 20 kilometres west of Pingerley.
there's plenty of room here from a spot by the river to the oval on the other side. There are some provided barbecue places and tables, although on a stinking hot day, I think you could probably cook a few snags on the metal tabletop and not have to worry about using the barbecue. The CWA have a hall here that you can hire out if you're coming down with a large group and need some kitchen facilities. There are a couple of toilet units here, with one of them having running tank water. However, maybe don't rely on it, as it needs somebody to come and fill it from time to time. But it looks quite clean and well maintained, considering you're out here in the middle of nowhere. Even the kids entertainment is covered. Now even though there's not a lot around, the road still has a fair bit of traffic on it. But by the time the sun goes down, so does the amount of traffic on the road. All in all, this is a great little spot to watch the day finish. But that's not where the show finishes. After dark, the light show starts. And then it starts, another perfect day in paradise. that's where we're going to leave it for today. In our next episode, we'll get to Denmark and have a look around. So if you like what you saw, hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing down below. But until next time, happy travels!